Yeah, I re jumped on the treats fast enough. I really hope this is about the hatchet man. Um, yeah, we'll see. Because I really want to talk about the hatchet man, and it's going to be stupid for me to talk about the hatchet man if this isn't the hatchet man. to compel military chatter on the comms. Now okay, this is so exotic, right? At least one unit, at least one lance will be here. Okay, my question. Aha, okay, here's going to be the ronda. Here's going to be the place they leave from. I'm pretty sure because it's got the road all the way back to the point where we have to pick them up and then it's got a drop ship pad right there so I'm okay. willing to bet that they're gonna have to come down this road and park right in here which means that I want to get most of my mechs about halfway up the road before I go touch that spot. That is my, that is um, what I'm going to say. Going to send you Moving in this direction. Star wants to know if there's a big blue ox mech. <laughs> That's your department. <laughs> I read you, Commander. Moving out. Roger that. On my way. I have no <coughs> idea if there's a mech that you can call the big blue ox. I remember when I was looking at camo specs years ago, someone as an April Fool Fool's Don't joke took either that. a hatchet man or an axe man and painted it kind of flannelly, and they painted something else to be the big blue ox, and I don't remember what. <laughs> I sent Star a picture of a hatchet man, and she has opinions. Acknowledged. Eh. So they are. The enemy is not going to show up until we tag the base and get the convoy on screen. Okay. Moving out. Okay, on you can way. wait there until I get everybody else in position. Coordinates received. Because I can't go too far forward. But I do need to get at least a turn or two's worth of movement away from the base. Yeah. Because they could show up over here. They could show up over here. Which, even if I'm right here, is not bad because I get to get over a mountain if they show up there. But yeah, I've got the stalker right here, ready to step into the zone. You hang out Affirmative. for a minute. Get you guys in the cover. One more turn. Roger that. Digging in. Because we are not in any hurry yet. And I don't know if I have to keep all of them alive, or just one or two, or what. Good for now. Cool 
cooling down a bit. Move order received. Holding here. I picked good places. That's a good wisdom. I picked almost exactly where I needed to be. Okay, it's a bonus to keep all the Steiner units alive. That's a Jinner. Not for long, it isn't. That's another Jinner. Reporting major armor loss. That looks like a centurion. Yeah, that's a centurion. Waiting for orders. Cold shot to the ass. Yep. Target neutralized. And it looks like they only have three mechs. Huh. I don't see a fourth. Good to go. I find that deeply suspicious. Yep. Unfortunately, I can't do a called shot because I'd resolve. All weapons are go! When I shoot you, you'll take it and let But I can take off just about every piece of back armor that thing has. Always useful. And if you don't have a mech with them, they will just stop moving. Huh, okay. They do not get away from the mechs. So they're actually smart about being escorted for once. Kind of. I, I mean, as smart as they can be, really. Yeah. They are going to outpace my stalker pretty badly. Yeah, but so does things like growing on damp bread, I was really. I say, an inchworm probably would too, but you know. D in tabletop terms, PBIs won't outpace your stalker, because the PBIs have a movement value of one. I think I hit something good. <laughs> And the Jinner is gone because the pilot's hurt. Clearly we need to drag the pilot out and stick someone we like in it. Damage minimal. Or we need to just pick up the Jinner and start swinging it at the Centurion. I hear you. Do, do you think you're piloting an Atlas? I mean something just as heavy. Yeah, but you don't have hands. 
I'll improvise. <laughs> oh no! I'm sure the ACs can bore enough of a hole in the legs to make it a swinging them on them. There we go. <laughs> I kind of want to see this now. Somebody make that fan art, please. Just an annihilator with an AC UAC-10 swinging a jitter by a hole in the leg. Yes, Commander. Order see, the thing is, there is a complete possibility that another lance will pop up as soon. As soon as these things get right next to the landing zone. Yeah, that's what I would expect to happen. thing is, the way the game is programmed, it's not going to, uh... Ready. It's not going to have them pop up until it gets close. And unfortunately, I have no idea which way it's going to, which way they're going to come from uh -huh. when they show up, if they show up. On my way. A good thing is, we can't step on them. I'm mature. I was worried about that. I, the first time I did one of these, I was wondering, do I need to go all the way around everything? Because I might accidentally squash one of the cars. And besides, you can't call them for them. You can't call for them to step on me, Daddy, because the Annihilator's over there. <laughs> Yes, I knew where you were going with that. Uh, I... I found that screenshot from FF9, and I'm not... I don't remember if, like, that's just a poorly worded line, or if that's clearly a fake screenshot, it's, but either it's way... It's gotta be a fake screenshot. There's no, I do not remember that ever happening in the game. Well, like, I can't remember if there's a spot where, like, Steiner needs to lift Beatrix through, like, a thing and he's <laughs> still it's an amazing screenshot and it would fit right in with the later parts of the game yeah and if you're wondering what he's actually talking about don't worry about it we we have fun here. Seriously, there's got to be more to this than what we've done. Oh yeah, the, like I said, I'm pretty sure. I am very very sure that once they approach another lance will drop down. See, they're not quite there. They're, they have to get like within one or two, one or two tiles. Heading out. With any luck, they will be right there. Your families will be held accountable if it leaves, huh? That, that's accurate for House Liao. Focused, trebuchet, trebuchet. That's really annoying. Versus Black Knight.
Luckily, they do not have the firepower to attack the dropship. Yeah. I choose to I choose to interpret it that way. Dropships have pretty thick skin, um, at least in terms of mech weapons. Like it's doable, but you really, really to want it. And also, dropships are armed. <laughs> what can I do for you? Also, my Black Knight can core this sucker. Didn't manage to pull it off, though. Orders. Potato. With that, I can play me some Dragon Quest. See, the thing is, we got that trebuchet out of line of sight, so there they get to go away now. Very soon. Getting the trebuchet out of line of sight was the major thing. So they could not just easily target something. I think I managed to get rid of the LRM-15 on that now. It did crit. I don't know if that took it out completely, but it did crit. The objective is secured, Commander. And they're going away now. Okay. So all we gotta do is blow up the other trebuchet in the Locust. We, we have to take out the trash, got it. Basically. Technically, we could head towards the evac zone. But why do we want to when we have these paper people to just tear through? Why it's not firing, I don't know. There we go. Took it a second to fire at something. Nope, the LRM-15 just got critted, did not get destroyed. Waiting on you, Commander. Coordinates received. Well, unfortunately, your arm is facing me. Both of you. Firing everything I've got! Potato. 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 Wow. It, <laughs> like half of that mech is just gone. Yep. I think you destroyed literally every section of that mech. Except one leg. I think one leg survived. <laughs> we have a locust leg that we're going to use to beat a bastard with. Inbound dropships, ETA 45 minutes.
One of the mech techs rushed the activation of the hatchet man. Yes! It will stand in place of one of your own mechs in the upcoming fray. So the hatchet man. Well, you know what, I'll talk about it when it gets here. You know, I don't really need it. I I'm good. You really don't. The, ha <laughs> the hatchet man's an odd duck. That's right, Blackjack. So, so, um, for no reason whatsoever, which of your pilots is the best at meleeing things? I don't think I have one that... Uh, see, melee is not one of the skills you really get to do much with a pilot. Almost a million sea bills. But, I mean, our, our armor barely got touched except for on McMurder. I think that gets replenished anyway. Yeah. So the heaviest thing out there was the Centurion or the Bucket. Let's let's take Centurion. One decent medium laser. You know, it's cool you want to give us a mech for use, but, um, I don't think we need it. We have a lance of, of functional heavy and assault mechs, so we're going to give you this medium mech. Who specializes in getting up close? <laughs> so, um... Oh, and also with a custom one of their pilots, it's not even skilled as mine. Well, this sucks. So let's see. Unfortunately, the McMurder was the one that was the most beat up, but that doesn't even matter now because all my armor is repaired. Well, at least you can go run and hide somewhere while I finish out this mission. I'm going to Disney World! You and the Hatchet Man, go, go hide somewhere, please. <laughs> 